Hey everyone, this is Rascal, and welcome to part 3 of the LP of Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I'm just going to start saying Ocarina of Time rather than Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in this part, we're exploring first the market, then we're heading to Hyrule Castle, because we got to go see the Princess of Destiny. So yeah, so right here is, uh, don't, what the hell, what is that? The fudge, uh, those little corners, freak me out. This is the bazaar, uh, this allows you to buy things. The thing is that a lot of shit is expensive, and that shield we can get for free. Yeah, don't worry. I will show off where we get the shield for free. Don't worry. That's the potion shop. We'll never be heading there. That's the match shop. We'll never be heading there. Uh, we won't be heading there. And yeah, this is... God, those corner things are... This is the shooting gallery. Um, as a young Link, if you win, which I fuck up royally, I'm going to admit it right now. Wow. Yeah, my I just saw my controls, like, reach out there, and I'm like, what, what the... Uh, uh, yeah, the controls are screwy. Uh, controls are very sensitive. This was the N64 version, I would have gotten a perfect score by now. <laughs> I will admit that. Uh, as young Link, wow, that went right over. Yeah, it's done. Nope. Nope. I screwed up. Yeah, that's done. Now, if you manage to get a few, more than half the rupees, or you miss one or two... I'm pretty sure if it's only miss one or two, you get your twenties back, your twenty rupees back, pretty much, and you play the game. Um, so yeah, that little area is actually important for Link to get uh, young Link to get his um, upgraded Deku seed bag. Yeah. Oh God damn it! No, go away, you stupid owl! The princess is inside the castle, just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you want to hear that again? How did I say it again? No! Woohoohoo! You're a smart kid! Good luck then! Woohoo! God damn you, Ghidorah. So, yeah, this is actually an important. He's. You will meet him again much later. Actually, we're gonna meet him multiple more times during out this fucking LP, but. So, yeah, this is the market at night. There is a. Uh, where's. I was like, okay, where's. The goddamn farmer. There she is. There's Malin. Uh, hey, your clothes—they're different. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm from the forest. Oh, you're from—you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malin. My dad owns Long Long Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, but he never came back. Okay. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Tee hee. Oh yeah, uh, look for him. I'll be in this condition, this egg very carefully. Tee hee. Yay, we got a weird egg. Wait, what? Feels like something inside, moving inside. Uh, what? Huh? Logic? Um, yeah, this, it's because the egg is going to hatch soon. What you're supposed to do while um, in that section of... Of Hyrule Castle, well, the, in the courtyard of Hyrule Castle, is actually to, um, you're supposed to walk around till morning, hatch the egg. I can't find my puppy anywhere, please look for it. Okay, so I am going to do this one subquest because this is the one subquest I keep doing constantly every time I play. I usually, when I play the game, I try to 100% it. Now, her dog is a white dog like that, right there. Now, I... Uh, to get them to follow you, you just got to bump into them. It's very annoying sometimes because you don't know if they're following you or not. And don't worry if they, they're they not fully on screen. They'll still follow you inside the door. Now, I try to find it as fast as I can. What? Okay. What the hell? No, bad me, bad me, bad idea, bad idea. And I must have hit the dog when I zigzagged. Shit. Yeah, not what I wanted to do. Oh crap. And there's a dog. There's a white dog here. Yeah, it's a one of the white dogs. I don't remember which one though. Oh, yeah. There's no way of getting rid of the dog until you go see the girl, the late. Sorry, the girl, the lady. So yeah, you gotta get. If you bump into another dog, you gotta go see her, 
and mention and say that that's not her dog or it is. I know that's not your dog, lady. It's just because it bumped into me accidentally. The annoying thing is that I believe that the pattern is really weird for this dog. Because it's usually walking around town, like there. But sometimes it could be hopping around like a madman. So the dog's programming can change from time to time. I've actually had it running around in a circle once. I was like, what? Yeah, the thing is also, you can't tell which dog's which. So yeah, there we go. And you get a heart container for this. A heart container, I mean a piece of heart. So a piece of heart is different than a heart container. A piece of heart will is a quarter of a heart. So what will it do? What, what it will... Not what will it do. Tongue tied. What it will do is that it's... Um, it's going to fill up with... You're going to need four of them to make a new heart. Uh, these are spread out throughout all of Hyrule. Uh, in dungeons and through puzzles. Now this is annoying. I've always had a hard time finding the exact moment where to climb. And I said, screw it. Next to the side a bit. There we go. I believe in the DS version, this was actually changed a bit, you know, to give a little more idea where you're supposed to climb, or the game was reprogrammed correctly, I don't know. So, this is the easiest thing to do. Do not get caught. Now, if you follow the exact same path I'm doing pretty much, you won't ever get caught. Yeah, it's annoying as all hell. Uh, the, these guards also have no peripheral vision, so yeah, they're blind as a bat pretty much. You don't need to do this at night. You can walk right here in the middle of day. But you guys saw there's a little crevice to the right when we walked by that hill the first time. We'll be going back to it after the Dongo's Cavern, which is the second dungeon. A chicken hatched from the egg that was in my pocket. I'd be freaking the fuck out. What would you guys be doing if a chicken suddenly hatched in your pocket? I don't know. I'd go, hmm. Breakfast, supper, yum. <laughs> yeah, so. Also, if you manage to make it to that tree right there that we're about to go see. Come on. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but okay, that will work. Hit the tree. Now, if you manage to come here at night with one of them, there's a gold sculptula in it. So, I believe it's the ones nearer the gate. I'm not 100% sure. No, I don't want to save. So, this is Talon. Actually, it's Mario. Yeah, it's supposed to resemble Mario. And his eyes are still closed. A little shut-eye around here. And he wakes up, opens his eyes. If you manage to get a good look at his... Um, his... I want to say the necklace, but I know there's a proper term for that. I know it in French, I just don't know it in English. That's the problem. I, his... Um, emblem on his necklace there, that's, I'm gonna call it that it's Bowser he he's wearing the blue overhaul with a red shirt while he has a brother wearing blue overhauls with a green shirt so yeah it's supposed to be Mario and Luigi it's a little nod to them so yeah it's a nice little nod to them it's interesting to see that they actually tried something also, Talon, Malin, and uh, I forgot his name. I'm gonna, we're gonna see a little bit. Come on, push, push. Yeah. Uh, I was like, hmm, can't I just? Wait a minute, can't I just jump this? Oh yeah. Well, there is a possible way for you to make that. It's all, it's hard as comp as hell though, but you can, you do need the second crate though, to be more precise. Some people have actually done with one, and if you're wondering, well, what about those speed, um, speed runs? Yeah, um, glitching the game out, I don't count that as speed run, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't count, um, now you'll... You won't be able to push it any further after you hear the jingle, the accomplishment jingle. Um, speed runs that glitch the game out in order to beat the game faster. I don't call those speed runs. Speed runs to me is you beat the, you play the game from A to Z, in other words, from beginning to end, uh, 
without using a glitch. Now, a cheat is different, in my opinion, than a glitch. Uh, like a passcode to help you get ammo or something. Anything. Now, I should have took this time to go from behind and go all the way to the back of that guard. Because I had more than enough time. And this kind of creeped me out because their pattern is when one moves, the other moves. Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can take the risk and go get the rupees. The guard, if you're fast enough and you know what you're doing, the guard won't notice you. Now, don't worry. Now, if you do fall off, pray that you fall off on too near the rupees. But I don't... Ouch, that hurt. Hey, Jeff, you hear something? No, just the wall saying, ah, oof. Okay. Yeah, these guards are that stupid. They don't have pers... Pers... <laughs> they don't have... Yeah, and I am tongue-tied right now. They don't have pers... Any kind of vision at all, or hearing. Yeah, so you don't need to worry. And you don't... You cannot pull... As you could see it, when these buttons are blanked out, like the, uh, green and the... Three um, C buttons. When they're like that, you cannot use your weapons in a situation like this. Which makes sense. You don't want to harm these guards. You don't want to do anything. And you don't want to be a... Sp there is a fast way past this. And I believe it's... Now this one is easy as all hell. I got lucky. Because the guards are together right now. But you could just run on whatever side they're on. Usually one's on the other side. You're, supp you're supposed to follow the one that moves first. But it's odd because right here, you can use all your stuff. And if you look into those into this wall, you see Mario's right there. Mario paintings. And I believe this one has a vase. Which I did the wrong side. Whoopsie. Hey you, don't cause trouble. Yeah, they throw a bomb. So yeah, that's the wrong side. But if you go to the one with the paintings. Come on. There you go. Hey, look at that. 20 ru- Woo! 20 rupees. Sweet. Free money. Can I get more? No. You can only do this once. And then I believe they start chucking bombs. And well, ladies and gentlemen, the Princess of Destiny, Zelda. Who? Who are you? How'd you get past the guards? Yeah, I can't do a young, polite uh, girl's voice. Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then, are you... Are you from the forest? Th then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? The green and shiny stone? Uh, but thou must answer again. Just as I thought, I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were blowing over the land of Hyrule. Blowing. Wait, what? Blowing? It's not supposed to be blowing. Whatever. Uh, but suddenly a ray of light shot up, and the light turned into a figure holding a green and shiny stone, followed by a fairy. Tingle? No. <laughs> I now... A prophecy that song came from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Us? Our name is Trent. We live in the forest. I got pe I got I got carried away with the story and didn't myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Oh, the Princess of Destiny. What is your name? Huh. Trent. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar actually naming your character zelda will state the same line which is kind of bizarre yeah i'm not kidding uh naming your character zelda well, she will still state that line and it's really really weird okay exposition time the legend goes like this okay exposition exposition rain is going down okay the three goddesses hit the triforce containing the the gods somewhere in Hyrule. Uh, isn't it supposed to be in the realm? The power that grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his, in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. Okay. 
Okay. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. You know, people that do evil don't even know they're doing evil, technically. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from the evil ones. From evil ones. From duh! You're missing duh, unless I'm the one that's grammatically wrong. From evil ones. Eh, okay, yeah, that makes sense, but I'm so used to... That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with the stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasures that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. And there's your title, ladies and gentlemen. Did you understood well the story I just told you? Yes. Although I almost fell asleep. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. Okay. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man there. Will you look through the window at him? Yes. Now, just to speed this up, I'm going to say I understand, yes, whatever. But sometimes if you say no, they actually have a pretty hilarious and stupid line. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? What, you mean your two guards? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert to the far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. <laughs> and he just smiles at us, that's the freaky part. What happened, did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Um. You know, if I was Ganondorf, just to prove my allegiance a little more, I'd say, hey, there's someone in there with your, your daughter. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. Um. But I can see that the man's evil intention. How can a child see that but not a full grown adult? All right, blinded by the world. Never mind. What Gandorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Secret Realm. You don't fucking say. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. You know the world is not flat, right? So, you know it's round. And how do you know there's other, other places where the Triforce can be hidden besides Hyrule? If the goddesses created the land of Hyrule, which is probably the world in this case, they could have hit the Triforce anywhere. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going <sighs> to. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You're a 10-year-old girl. What can you do to protect it? Your guards? If he's that powerful in ma with magic and brute strength, your guards are going to get overwhelmed. What? Your secret ninja? What, what secret ninja? That woman standing there? She uh, she can probably kill him, yeah. She can probably assassinate him. So we receive Zelda's letter. It's a secret. Uh, it's a selected. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's like the chicken. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Impa. Ze Zelda's guard yeah <clears throat> you know you do a shitty ass guard for i am info of the sheik has i'm responsible for protecting princess zelda everything is exactly as the princess foretold okay you are duty bound to protect zelda you do realize if i was evil any intent of evil i could have just stabbed her and you could do nothing and why am i taking so long oh i think i got distracted you are a courageous boy. Are you heading to big new adventure, aren't you? How do you know if I'm courageous? I could have just been told by the great Deku Tree to do this and deliver the secret stone and tell you to fuck off. Again, best. I, there's a comic on the internet. I don't know where it's from. It's literally the great Deku Tree handing uh, young Link bombs, the Master Sword, Deku seeds, and all this. You'll need all these in your adventure. Why can't the adults handle this? He's, she's got a point. Why can't adults handle this? Memorize this song, and you will be playing this song so many times so you'll remember it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Zelda's Lullaby. Pretty much this song is well known throughout all of freaking nerdum. And I'd like to remind you I am using a goddamn right analog stick. Yeah. 
If this was the C buttons, I've already would have plotted this like 60 times by now. There we go. This is Zelda's Law by. Anytime you see a Triforce symbol on the ground, if you need some kind of hint or something needs to be done, playing Zelda's Lullaby is going to get you forward into the game. This is pretty much how this song works. It's your MacGuffin. It's your Jack of All Trades song, I should say. Not a MacGuffin. The MacGuffin is the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword. It's the Ocarina of Time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how it is. You Now, with, I believe, Zelda's Lullaby, if you head back to Lost Woods and find Saria, you'll be able to learn Saria's song. Protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Okay. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You just said it's your village. Of course, we, that's where you're born and raised. There's not many places where you could be born and raised in the past. You were born in a certain village and you were raised there. Very rarely you will leave there. Remember, with the help to prove your connection to a royal family. Yeah, that song is very powerful. It will prove my... Or, you know, you guys can just give me some kind of note that states that I am aligned with the royal family. Yeah, they use Deku nuts, by the way, to do that. That is a powerful nut. Wow, that sounds so wrong when I say it like that. I was trying to climb the chain again, because if you climb this chain all the way to the top and jump in the middle, you actually get 20 rupees. I said screw it, since it's not been cooperating with me. Oops, wrong button. B. Since it's not cooperating with me, I just guess I'm going to get my ass moving on. So, yeah. Well, this part's soon going to end, so join me next time as we hopefully head to Death Mountain, meet the Gorons, and get Saria's song. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day or night, and take care, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the fast, now this is what I mean. This is the faster way to get across Hyrule Field is to side jump like this. It gets annoying because you're going to go hear that ha 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 all the way. This is why I like being grown up Link because you get a Pona. Anyways, I'll see you guys next part. Thank you for watching and take care.